Good morning, my lovies. I miss you so, so much. I'm so sad. I need kisses and hugs. Can I have a kiss? Oh, that feels so much better. I love you so, so much. Do you remember what we're learning this week? About what? Insects, good job. Do you remember what a group of insects is called? A swarm, a swarm, good job. And do you remember how many legs insects have? Five, four, eight, six, six, good job, six. Do you remember how many body parts insects have? One, two, three, Three, good job. The head, the chest or the thorax, and the abdomen. Good job. Are spiders insects? What are our spiders? Arachnids. How do spiders feel the world around them? With what on their bodies? Hair. How do... Insects feel the world around them with antennas or feelers. Good job. Who else has hair all over their bodies? People, except for the palm of our hands and the bottom of our feet. Good job. And how many body parts do spiders have? Two. Do you remember the insect? that uses its abdomen, it has chemicals inside its abdomen that lights up at, at night. Fireflies, good job, very good, fireflies. Do you remember how insects move? Hop, crawl, fly, jump. Just like humans, humans can move in different ways, except we can't fly. The only way we can fly is get into an airplane, right? We can hop, we can jump, we can crawl, we can walk, right? We can't fly because we don't have wings. And do you remember what it's called when one side of the insect is exactly the same as the other one? What is it called? Symma symmetry, very good. Insects are symmetric. One side of their body looks exactly like the other one and it's called symmetry, very good. Mora Laura has a few things here. Do you remember the, bu the butterfly starts as an egg and then it turns into what? Caterpillar. Once I was a caterpillar, creepy, crawly, tummy filler, crunching, munching, green balloon. I went to sleep in my cocoon, crunching, munching, green balloon. I went to sleep in my cocoon. When I woke up, I had some wings, lolly colors, pretty things. See me, see me flutter by. I'm a beautiful butterfly. See me, see me flutter by. I'm a beautiful butterfly. That's right, so first they start as a tiny little egg then they turn into a caterpillar. They eat lots and lots and lots of food until they get so big. Then they go to sleep in the cocoon and inside the cocoon, they change into a beautiful butterfly with symmetric. This side looks exactly like this and they have very nice wings and then they fly. Is this an insect? What is that? A ladybug, good job. Is this an insect? Do you remember the difference between a moth and a butterfly? The moth has a thick body and has hair all over their body. The butterfly has a thinner, smaller body and a smooth one. And the wings of the moth are hairy. Butterflies fly during the day. Moth flies during the night. You'll never see a butterfly do, fly during the night, but moths fly during the night. So they're, it's a little different. They almost look the same, but they're not. Moths are hairier and a little bit thicker. 
They have thicker wings. They have thicker bodies. They have hair all over their bodies. So this is a butterfly. Do you remember what insect this is? A bumble bee. Good job. Do you know what insect this is? Remember Mora Laura said a moth? That's a moth. See? The difference between a moth and a butterfly? Do you know what this is? A fly. Fly. Very good. And this is a grasshopper. Or it could look like a cricket too. A grasshopper or a cricket. So these are the insects. And we said that spiders are not insects. They are arach. Nids, arachnids, very good. This is called Little Miss Spider. Are spiders insects? Arachnids. Let's find out what happens here. Little Miss Spider got ready for school. She packed her new notebook, her pencils, and rule. See, she likes to go to school. I know my lovies like to come to school, just like Maura Laura loves to come to school with, to be with her lovies. I miss you so, so much. Peering outside, she sipped tea from her cup and eagerly watched for the sun to come up. What kind of a book is this? A rhyming book, Maura Laura's favorite. She dreamt as she gazed, her mind running through the wonderful things she would learn how to do. Just like you learn a lot of things in school, right? Well, Miss Spider wants to learn a lot of things too. Sunny Patch School was the best place to go to study the lessons all bugs ought to know. See, just like you're learning a lot of lessons about different things, about farm and bugs and Shavuot and transportation, right? We're learning about, and spring, we're learning about different things. Well, that's what Miss Spider wanted to do. She wanted to go to school to learn a lot of things, to be smart, just like you. There were classes in climbing and clinging to, to walls for hiding in bushes and curling in balls. She would learn about flowers from petal to root, how to chew tasty leaves and tunnel through fruit. She gobbled her breakfast, a fresh flower plate, then ran the whole way to be first at the gate. The principal smiled as he pulled back the latch. I know you'll be happy at dear Sunny Patch. See, she loves going to school. I know my lovies love going to school. But she found she lacked talent for hiding in trees, for chirping like crickets or humming like bees. She hadn't the strength to drill leaves with her tongue and hardly the and hardly the stomach for digging in dung. I am useless at singing, she said with a sigh. Perhaps I'll be better at learning to fly. Do spiders fly? No, spiders crawl. Remember we said bugs and insects move in different ways? Each student was tossed from the leaf of a rose. Poor little Miss Spider fell flat on her nose. The school day was over. They sounded the bell. She sobbed. Is there anything I can do well? <laughs> uh, 
I know my lovies can do a lot of things well. They can cut. They have very good spy eyes. They're good cleaners. They're good listeners. You're the best lovies ever. I love you so, so much. Then she heard a bug cry. <laughs> I am stuck in a spout. So she climbed to the top and she hoisted him out. Is it nice to help others? See, the spider helped her friend. See, just like Mora Laura keeps telling you to be what? Kind to everyone around you. The principal ha was happy as he watched from afar. He lifted Miss Spider and gave her a star. See, she did a good thing. Was she kind to her friend? Did she rescue her friend? Our gifts, they are many. We hop, fly, and crawl. But kindness, he said, is the finest of all. Just like Mora Laura keeps telling you to be kind to everyone around you, right? It's a very, very important mitzvah. If you're kind to everyone around you, you will be happy all your life. Don't you want to be happy? And you know what else will make you happy? If you're good listeners to your mommies and daddies and treat them like what? Queens and kings. Very good. Let's go over our two songs before we do our paperwork. So the two songs, the first one is the ABC. And I know you know the ABCs because we learned all of them, right? Echad, Stein, Shalosh. A, you're adorable. B, you're so beautiful. C, you're a cutie full of charms. D, you're a darling. And E, you're exciting. And F, you're a feather in my arms. G, you look good to me. H, you're so heavenly. I, you're the one I idolize. J, we're like Jack and Jill. And K, you're so kissable. And L is the love light in your eyes. M, N, O, P. I can go on all day. Q, R, S, T. Alphabetically speaking, you're okay. You make my life complete. V means you're very sweet. W, X, Y, Z. It's fun to wander through the alphabet with you to tell you what you mean to me. Second song. We learned a lot of things, right? Should we say thank you? Thank you for the learning, the fun, the singing. Thanks for all the joy they're bringing. Who could live without it? I ask in all honesty. What would I be without a Laura and Jody? So I say thank you for the learning, for giving it to me. I know you have very, very good spy eyes. This paper, you need to find, how many is that? 10, 10 insects. So you need to put your spy eyes. Look, you see how this boy is looking? You need to put your spy eyes and look at all, find all the insects. Is this an insect? Circle it. Good job. Circle it. Is this an insect? Is this an insect? How about this one? This one? This one. This one? How about this one? This one. So you need to put your spy eyes and spy 10 insects. The next paper. I know you're very good at patterns. I told you, you learned a lot of very good things. You learned to cut, 
you learn to write your name, you learn to hold a pencil with pinch your fingers over here and this finger underneath. I know that, I know you can do that. So we're gonna do a pattern. Green, purple, green, purple, green, purple. What comes next? What color is this? Green, green, purple, green, purple, green, purple, green. So you need to color it green. Don't mind me holding red. Green, purple, red, green, purple, red, green, purple, red. So you color red. Purple, green, green, purple, green, green. What comes next? Purple. Green, green, purple, purple, red, red. Green, green, purple, purple. These are the patterns. So you need to put on your thinking cap and your spy eyes. Good job. Mora Laura wants to show you another snack you could have. Remember yesterday Mora Laura told you about a snack to make a, a spider or an insect with a round cracker and pretzels? Pretzel sticks on the side. Look at this, a caterpillar. Grapes, tomato, and grapes. You can make a caterpillar snack. Because caterpillars turn into butterflies. Good job. I love you. You be very good listeners and very kind to everyone around you. I love you.